Hi guys! I'm going to show you how to make salt crusted fish today and it looks like a complicated recipe but really it isn't and it's so perfect for entertaining because it always looks so beautiful. The presentation will make you look like a pro, I promise. We have European sea bass today or also known as branzini or branzino as you would order at a restaurant. So um, how to pick perfect fresh fish. Okay, this is very, very important. First things first, you want to smell it. Okay, go to your fishmonger and seriously just ask them to smell the fish. Okay, they will give you the fish to smell. I know you might look ridiculous. I do it all the time, but also they'll know you're a pro. Okay. It should smell fresh. It should smell like the sea or salty water, okay? The eyes should be perfectly clear. They shouldn't be murky. They shouldn't be blurry, okay? The um, gills have been removed from this fish, okay? But normally you want to look for a good color, like beautiful, bright red color. And you want the flesh to be nice and firm, okay? So this is nice and firm. What I mean by that is when you go and you poke it, it shouldn't kind of have your imprint of your finger in there, okay? So it's ni nice and bouncy, clear eyes, and it smells beautiful. Mwah. Okay, so I've rinsed it uh, with cold water. And I put it on a paper towel so it's going to be nice and dry, okay? And now I'm going to set it aside and we're going to work on our salt crust. Salt crust. Again, very, very easy. I love using kosher salt. I use it for seasoning all the time. But kosher salt is key for this recipe because it's just the perfect, it's sea salt, but it's perfect uh, grind of uh, salt. So it's not too coarse, it's not too fine. And you want lots, okay? So we're basically gonna make a little bed for this lovely fish, and then we're gonna make a little blanket for it, okay? So you wanna have enough salt. I'd rather have more than less, okay? Um, egg whites. This is just from a carton, and I just put it in a jar. I like jars, you'll see me use a lot of jars. I'm gonna give it a little shake. And then that's gonna go just a little here, make a little well, and then it's gonna go into my salt. And then I'm gonna go in with my hands because I love to get messy. And basically, you're kind of coating all of the salt and mixing in the egg whites, okay? You just wanna make sure it's all nicely covered. And how I know to add more egg whites is it's kind of dry. See how it's falling apart? It's not quite staying in my hand, right? So I know I need more egg whites. Touch more. And then again, give it a good stir. Okay, I think it's perfect. So I want to show you the consistency. It should be like wet sand, okay? That's a really good guideline to have in your head, okay? So what I mean is when you go and you do this, do you see how it stays? It's perfect. Awesome. Okay, so we're halfway there. I like to also stuff it with just a couple of slices of lemon, okay? You don't even need to seed it. I'm just gonna literally do it like this. Set it aside, okay? It's ready to go. And the sheet tray, okay? covered with foil. You can use parchment paper if you'd like. Um, I just like it because it's cleaner. I don't have to take care of it after. I don't have to scrub it or wash it, okay? So you're gonna make a little bed, just a thin layer of salt basically at the bottom. So put uh, a couple of handfuls and really just spread it like this. Maybe a touch more. I'm just kind of looking at the length of my fish there. Okay, perfect. In goes my fish. Beautiful. And then a couple of my little lemon slices. And this, the lemon is really just to give it a, that fresh aroma of citrus as opposed to just nothing. You could use some basil sprigs or some thyme, whatever you want. So it's stuffed with lemon and now I'm going to do my little blanket, okay? Super easy. If you have a little bit of salt that goes inside the flesh there, totally okay. Um, now some recipes, they actually leave the mouth open and they don't cover it with salt. 
To be honest with you, I cover the entire fish with salt because I feel like it traps the moisture in and then it stays nice and juicy and moist inside. So since I have so much crust here, I'm just gonna dump it all, okay? And then set that aside and then really make sure to cover all of it, okay? No cracks, okay? We don't wanna see any cracks. If your salt bed is cracking, probably not enough egg whites, okay? Beautiful, look at that. Voila, okay. This is tucked in nicely with my salt crust and it's gonna go in the oven, 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Hot oven goes in 20 minutes. And now we wait. I want to show you a quick lemon dressing for the fish while it's in the oven. Quick squeeze of lemon, um, just like that, squeeze into your hand so you catch the seeds and then you fish out whatever other seeds you dropped in there. Okay, and then I'm gonna do um, just a touch of black pepper, just a little bit, okay? I don't want to take away from the beautiful fish. Um, and then also, as you can see, I have uh, curly parsley here, okay? Um, I do not use curly parsley, just so everyone knows. It's really just for the prettiness of this episode. Sorry. Sorry, curly, uh, curly parsley. Um, <laughs> okay, so I have some garlic. Um, again, I'm gonna look for my rasp that I absolutely love, my little fine grater. Um, if you like garlic, you can go crazy. You can do two, three cloves uh, for one fish. I'm just doing one. Just a little hint of garlic, okay? And some olive oil, just extra virgin olive oil. And then I always use the jars for dressings because I can eyeball it and see. It's usually about half and half, okay? Half citrus and half olive oil, okay? And no salt because we're, we have enough salt in this recipe, okay? Um, and the fish is gonna be perfectly seasoned. So I'm gonna shake this right before I spoon it over my fish. Easy peasy. And 20 minutes is up. I'm so excited. Okay. So, what I'm looking for is this perfection. <laughs> um, so, I want the crust to kind of have a golden color. It cracked a little bit, but that's totally okay. And what I want to do is, before I completely turn off my oven, is check the internal temperature. So carefully, right in the center, sort of thinking where's the thickest part, right? So the head, the tail. So right in the center, I'm going to go on an angle, very gently, you'll feel going through the crust, and then you're gonna feel going through the flesh, so be very, very gentle. Yep, I'm there. And you want the thermometer to read at least 165. I'm at 175, okay, perfect. That comes right off, just like this. And then we let it rest for at least five minutes, okay, before we open it up and present it to our guests. Okay, it's ready. So we're gonna remove the blanket very, very gently from the side. So kind of like literally removing a blanket, okay? So as opposed to going at the very top. And you kind of gently just chip away. And if you feel like you can't open it with your hands, just do it the same thing with the knife, just a little sort of shimmy and a crack so you can get that. Basically, you don't wanna puncture the flesh and you don't want the salt to go inside, okay? And what I'm actually smelling right now is citrus from the inside of the fish, not the fishy smell, okay? Look at that, beautiful. And I even have a brush, so I just kind of brush away. If I'm close to the flesh, I just brush away, like, just like this. So it's kind of like a big cast that it's in and we just wanna remove it, okay? So you actually get rid of the salt completely. You don't serve it on the salt. Just in case um, any of the salt gets in the flesh, it'll be too salty, obviously. All right, I'm gonna gently put this fish on my cutting board, very gently, just like that. Beautiful. We're gonna discard that. 
And now I'm gonna actually brush off any excess like salt because I really don't want it to get in the flesh, right? So just like that. And then we're gently using clean knife, okay? Um, and you're gonna sort of make an incision at the top because there's bones, okay? And I'm gonna pull those away from the flesh. Perfect, okay? And I actually just simply pinch the skin here. And since it's kind of uh, removed from the bones there, it's not attached, pinch it and I just pull it, pull it. I pull it, I pull, <laughs> I pull it. <laughs> Just like that, beautiful, look at that. And that is discarded as well. Okay, and now we simply remove the flesh from the bones. Again, super easy. And make sure your knife is nice and clean and doesn't have salt on it, right? So again, from that top there, if some of it stays behind and falls apart, it's all good. It means it's delicious and it's flaky, okay? So just like that. And you'll actually see, okay, I feel it with my fingers, right? There's a bone. There's only one big bone right in the center of the fish. So just like that. And that goes here. Voila. Okay, so I'm gonna do that again. So we're gonna flip the fish do you see that middle bone there? Um, flip the fish again, brush, 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 whatever brushes off, just like that. And then again, I just pinch the tail and remove it very gently. You don't wanna play with it too much, right? You don't wanna pull the skin up and down and because it has a lot of salt on it, right? So you wanna make sure it doesn't go on the flesh. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna wash my hands. Okay, with clean hands, again, same thing. So from the top, gently removing off the bone. Sorry, I'm, I'm right-handed. Um, you know what? So again, because I'm right-handed, I'm actually going to twist it, okay? <laughs> I just find this easier, like that. From the top again, do you see that perfect bone? You're just removing it off, there's some lemon slices there, and some kind of dark from the inside, there's a couple of bones, I'm gonna scrape those, and again, that just goes on this plate. Beautiful. And you have this perfect fish bone. We did it. Okay, so I'm gonna get my lemon sauce here and just do a nice spoonful, a couple spoonfuls. And now I get to eat and you get to watch me eat. It looks so perfectly flaky. Oh, you can just see it just falling apart. Oh man, so good. I'm so sorry you get to eat, watch me eat again, but you should make this at home and you get to enjoy it. And it's so perfect for entertaining. You just put that salt crust right in the middle of the table and it looks so pro. I think your guests will be completely blown away.